Hi there. We've seen several examples of one-sided limits. Often when you're talking about one-sided limits, you have a function whose plot looks something like this. To gain a better understanding of what's going on here, let's answer some questions. So f of 2, well f of 2 is 5, all right? And what's the limit of f of x as x goes to 2 from the left? Well, that looks like it's uh, 3. And what's the limit as x goes to 2 from the right? Well, that looks like it's 5. And what's the limit of f of x as x goes to 2? Well, this does not exist. This is a very common uh, sort of problem for uh, limits from the left and limits from the right. Here's another common sort of problem. Uh, in this case, our, the plot of our function is right here. And so f of 1, well, f of 1 is 6. We have to go all the way up to this point right here. And let's see. Now, what's the limit of f of x as x goes to 2 from the left? Oh, well, it's, it's 2. So we go up. There we are. Now, let's see. What's the limit of f of x as x goes to 2 from the right coming from the right? Aha. It looks like it's 4. And what's the limit? Well, again, the limit as x goes to 2 of f of x this does not exist. Now, uh, when we're doing one-sided limits, the limit could exist, but these are just some examples to get us thinking. I'm wondering, could there be a one-sided limit that doesn't exist? So, perhaps surprisingly, there are functions where the limit from the left or maybe the limit from the right do not exist. And here's an example of one of them. So f of x is equal to sine of 1 over x if x is less than 0. And it's equal to 3 if x is greater than or equal to 0. Let's, let's see a plot of this. All right, so here's a plot of f of x. And as you can see, it starts to oscillate wildly when coming from the left and approaching 0. But when you get to 0, it becomes 3 and then moves off constant. So f of 0, that's 3. And the limit of f of x as x goes to 0 from the left, well, because it's oscillating wildly, it doesn't approach anything. It gets closer. It, basically, as you get within epsilon, uh, uh, delta, the, uh, the value here can be negative 1 or 1. And so you can't uh, control the value of the function at all. So this does not exist. Now, the limit of f of x as you're coming from the right that's equal to 3 again. And the limit of f of x as x goes to 0, well, this does not exist. Wow, what an example. That is cool. OK, let's go ahead and do some more math now.